Bonjour à tous et à toutes, comment allez-vous Hello everyone, how are you Welcome back to my YouTube channel on French with Anubhav. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Today's video, it's the second part of lesson number 2, on the jeune, class 9. Lesson uh, au lycée. Contention class 9. So, if you haven't watched the part 1 or videos of uh, the lesson 1, so you can watch it. I will put the link in the description box of this video. Here I am making a column uh, regarding the videos which you need to watch uh, in order to understand the topics, the grammar topics or vocabulary topics which are appearing in the lesson. So we are on page number 19. If you have the book, you can open it. Otherwise, no worries. I am discussing everything on the board. So we stopped here. Now we have Avant la cour de musique. Before the music class, we can see a picture with two girls talking to each other, Nargis and Pauline. So now let's see what all they are talking about. So Pauline says, do you say, Nous avons un nouveau professeur de musique. You know, we have a new professor, new music professor. Elle est italienne. Italienne is the word used for the nationality Italian. Italian? Who is an Italian? The one who comes from Italy. So, and there is N and E right here. Uh, it indicates that the person is a female, so L8 Italian. Then Nargis says, Como sapel tel? Etel jan. So, Como sapel tel? What is her name? Etel jan? Is she young? Jan translates to young. Then Pauline replies, Elle s'appelle Madame Carla Tosti. Uh, her name is uh, Mrs. Carla Tosti. Oui, elle est très jeune. Yes, she is very young. Elle a de longs cheveux blancs et des yeux bleus. Cheveux is hair and blanc is blonde the golden shade and she has a year blur year is eyes and blur is the color blue so she is saying that the teacher madame Carla Tosti she has long hair golden in color blonde hair and she has blue eyes Elle est belle et elle a un visage, visage souriant. Souriant means smiling. So, she is beautiful. Elle est belle et elle a un visage souriant. And she has a smiling face. Then Nargis says, Je veux rencontrer Madame Tosti. Elle semble très sympa. Then Nargis is saying that I would like to meet or I want to meet Madame Tosti. Uh, she sounds really nice. Let's just visit off. So there's one video related to the passage which we discussed, parts of the face. If you want it, you can watch it. I will put the link in the description. Parts of the face. You can watch it now. Okay, now we have a small table. So nationality is something which we haven't discussed. So as of now, I will be discussing only the limited nationalities given right here. I will definitely take up the topic in a vast manner once we get over with this book. So we have the country and the nationality. So we have first country we have Senegal, O Senegal. O indicates masculine, 
country or indicates um, feminine and AUX plural. This we have done in a prepositions video I did a long time back, around two years back. Uh, so we have oh, Senegal. So Senegal, people from Senegal, their nationality in French is Senegali for masculine and if we add an E at the end, it becomes feminine. Uh, so, and now we have the next country as Canada, O oh, Canada. So Canada is again a masculine country. So their nationality, Canadian in French is written like Canada for masculine and if we add one extra N and an E at the end, it becomes feminine. So these two were the masculine countries. Coming towards the third one, we have a feminine country, India. India is AND in French, I-N-D-E, AND. And the nationality, Indian, is like this, India, simple enough for male. And for female, same followed just like Canada. We add an N and E at the end to make it female. Now you may think how to make it plural. It's really simple. Like after this, you, if you add an S, like here you don't need to put an S if they are uh, ill. If it translates to ill, the masculine third person plural. But if it translates to L, the feminine third person plural, then after E and S will be there. And otherwise, if it's only this much and you are talking about plural, you can't write double S here. There will be single S only. But for this and this, it's really simple. Just add an S at the end. We have fourth country as France, the language which we are studying, French. So very simple. Fonse and with an E it becomes feminine. Now let's erase the first two. In first two we have no. Next we are left with two more. We have on Angleterre. Angleterre, England. So their nationality, English, is written like this. Anglais for masculine and uh, for feminine we add an E at the end and again it's just like Senegali that if we are to address in plural if there's an E at the end then we'll put an S otherwise we don't need to put an S because there's an S already there so in singular also there will be an S in plural also there will be an S I'm talking about masculine only mind it because in feminine extra E gets added up and the last one is the plural country plural United States uh, is what we say. So the nationality, American, is written like this, American, and with an E, it becomes female. Uh, okay, I'm erasing these two now. Yep, so now we can see a blue color box right here uh, where uh, words written decree you in person describe a person now how to describe a person talking about the age talking about the physical features the facial features like that we can describe a person very well so first we have Kelaj Atil or L Kelaj Atil what is his age or her age second we have Quel est sa nationalité? What is the nationality from which country the person belongs to? Then we have il slash l et grand. Uh, petit. Gros. Mass. Bo and Bell. Now these are some features, not all. I'm not written all of them. They are just five only, five, six features which can describe a person in general. Like grand actually means big, but if you are describing a person, grand translates to tall. So grand for masculine and if we add an E, it becomes grand. D will be pronounced and 
uh, uh, it will be tall for feminine and pati means small but in the context it will mean short pati and patit patit is the feminine form gro is fat g r o s gro and if we add an s and e at the end it becomes gross and gross is used for feminine and it again means fat mass means slim bo is handsome and bell is beautiful Okay, now let's move to the fourth point. Il, el, a, a visage, oval, rond, carré, intéressant, soudillant. Okay, so vis visage is face, we know very well. So there are some shapes given right here, like what's the shape of the face? So does the person have an oval face, oval, or the person has a raw face, round, the person can have a carré face, square, interessant, interesting face, in interessant visage, Suryan, as we have already discussed, it means smiling or happy face. Uh, now we will move to the next point we have for hair. What's the color of the hair? Is it blonde, golden or blonde? Is it noir, a black? Or is it brown? Brown. Brown hair. Uh, there are more colors which I have discussed in one of my previous video. You can watch it. I am putting it here. Colors in French. You can watch it very well. So talk, now talking about the length of the hair or the features of the hair. Let's just write it. So, whether the person has long hair or short hair, good, long, good, long, short, or the person has red, shovel, uh, it means stiff, or the person has frizzy hair, frizzy. Or the person has boucle shovel. Boucle is curly. So long, long, good, short, red, um, stiff, frizzy, frizzy, and boucle curly hair. Then we are talking about the nose, whether the person has a long nose or grand, big nose or patine, small nose, sonne a pointu, pointed nose or il, el, a, a ne, pla, ne, pla, flat nose. So we have discussed about the appearance of the nose also. Now next point could be il ayun barb. Barb is beard. B a r b e or yun mustache. Mustache. And lastly, il or l port de lunette. Lunette, spectacles or glasses, so whether she, he or she wears spectacles or glasses. Now moving towards page number 20. Let's rub it off.
Okay. So, regarde les images données ci-dessous. Relier les images et les descriptions données. So, we have three pictures right here and three descriptions. We need to match with them. So, part A, there's a girl's picture. So, her description is given here. C'est une jeune femme. Jeune, as we have already discussed, young. Femme is a lady. So, this is a young lady. Elle a un visage long et sérieux. Sérieux. Serious face. So, elle a un visage long et sérieux. She has a long and serious face. Elle a de longs cheveux noirs. She has long black hair. Now, part B, we see a man's picture. His description is given right here. C'est un jeune homme. It's a young man. Il a un visage sympathetic. Sympathetic. Sorry. Uh, il a un visage sympathetic. He has a sympathetic face. And il a une barbe et une moustache. He has a beard and a moustache. And now, part C, again, we have a lady, a blonde lady. Her description is given right here. C'est une jeune femme. It's a young lady. Ses cheveux sont blancs et bouclés. She has golden or blonde and curly hair. And elle a un visage souriant. She has a smiling face. Now, again, we returned to Dennis Martin and his family, as in lesson one. J'apprends à parler de ma famille. I'm uh, learning to speak about my family. Uh, Denny montre une photo de sa famille à Ali et à Akansha. So, Dennis brings a photo of his family to Ali and to Akansha. So, Ali says, C'est une belle photo, Denny. C'est ta famille. It's a beautiful picture, Den uh, Dennis. It's your family. Dennis. Oui, voici mon père. À côté, c'est ma mère. Elle est architecte. Et cet homme assis devant mon père, c'est mon grand-père. Il a 65 ans. So this family tree we have already discussed till we can do it again. Uh, yes, here is my father. Near to him, there's my mother. She is an architect. And this man uh, sitting in front, this person is the grandfather. Uh, he is my grandfather. He is 75 years old. Akansha asks, Is cette dame à sa devoir avec une écharpe? C'est ta grand-mère. And the lady who is sitting next to your grandfather with a scarf on the head, is she your grandmother? Oui, c'est elle. Yes, it is she. Et la dame à devoir de mon grand-père, c'est ma tante Sophie, mes grands-parents habitent à Lyon. And the lady sitting on the right of my grandfather, she is my aunt Sophie. She, uh, my grandfather, live, uh, my grandparents live in Lyon. Ali, et ce monsieur derrière ta grand-mère. And the man behind your grandmother, c'est mon oncle, il est avocat. It's my uncle, he is an advocate. So, yeah, moving towards Akansha. Uh, you can watch the family members video also as a lot of family members are appearing right here. So, in order to have a perfect understanding in detail, you can watch. I have made two videos. Uh, I think one video will be sufficient. The part one video is sufficient as of now to watch. So, I will put the link in the description for sure. Uh, yeah. Et ces deux jeunes, ce sont les cousins. And the two young ones, are they your cousins? Oui, ce sont les enfants de ma tante Sophie. Yes, they are the children of my aunt Sophie. Sophie s'appelle Pierre et sa fille Catherine. Uh, her son's name is Pierre and her daughter's name is Catherine. We have already seen them. Elle est belle, n'est-ce pas? She is beautiful, isn't she? Uh, ma cousine est pianiste. She is a pianist. Piano player. Akansha says, O oh, ton cousin, qu'est-ce qu'il fait? And your cousin, what does he do? Dennis says, il est journaliste. 
Il travaille pour le journal Le Monde. He is a journalist. He works for the magazine Le Monde the World. Uh, now we have regard les mots en gras. Qu'est-ce qu'il exprime? Trouver les trouve les autres mots dans ce dialogue qui exprime le même élément. Okay, this element which they are talking about, we are discussing within two minutes. Just wait for some time. Uh, à l'aide de l'image donnée, cocher vrai ou faux. Okay, so I am giving you the answers. Mon père est à côté de ma mère. Yes, the father is standing close to my mother. So it's a vrai statement. It's a true statement for sure. Second, we have mon grand père est derrière ma mère. No, he is devant. So he's in front. So it's a false statement. False. Second, ma grand-mère est à droit de mon grand-père. Ma grand-mère est à droit de mon grand-père. Let's find it out in the passage. Uh, ma grand-mère est à droit de mon grand-père. Is à sa droit avec une écharpe. No, she is in the left. Like if we see with our perspective, she appears to be in the right. But if we see the photo perspective, it's on the left of the grandfather. So it's again a false statement for sure. Fourth, Ton Sophie est à gauche de, de mon grand-père. No, she's in, on the right. So again, false. And mon oncle est devant ma grand-père. Uh, no, he is behind. So again, a false. And the element, now coming towards the element, like there are some words, mo, ma, ta. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, you must be familiar to these because these are adjective possessives. I did a video on it long ago and like mo, ma, me, for sure. Like these are the adjectives which indicate possession. You can watch it very well. I will put the link in the description for sure. Tota te, yours, uh, for Sosa se, uh, is for his or her. Then nota is our, vota is your, lord is there. So like that we have it. Adjective possessive. You can watch it. The video is there in the description. C'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and Fetch Return Path. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. See you in part 3 video of Lesson de au lycée. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. N'oubliez pas que la langue française est la mode.